Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> He's mine. He's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, 
They feel differently. Now Moses, him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care none! These people have been laid to rest! You don't know nothing! I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow! I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? You're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. It's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke. All them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. About this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now. I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. God-awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Well, don't you lay a finger on them horses, mister! Them's our horses! Let's go! You rat bastard! Take your punishment like you deserve!
Job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! What's this got to do with you? Come on! Slow it up now. Just leave me alone! Son of a bitch! You ain't that damn law! Let me go! I'm begging you! Seth lost his mind a long time ago. You just wait till I get loose, mister. What's he paying you? I'll give you double. Just name your price. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. It's mine now. You hear me, Moses? Mine. <laughs> mine. Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah, piece ah. by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide ah. man's flesh. Ah. Ain't never cut into a ah. live one before. <laughs> Odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Come on. Ain't no time to be wasting. To that fella. Mary. Let's get this Mary, over with. Seen treasures in the tumbleweed mansion basement. Here's my fine. You better go. Come on. Now. Just give him that pardon, Larry, so we can get out of here. I'll see you soon. So, Mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, Mister.
Dirty. Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. <laughs> A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <coughs> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? 
Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, to get to breach! Take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. 
Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Isn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The falling rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sports, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better?
I need him more than you now. This will fetch a good price.
yes, for you. You messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mechanic. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concerns you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, Boyle? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, Boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. This is what happens when you poke your nose in. Oh. Nicely done, lad. Now come help me up, will you? A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. They're untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. She's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All righty, my guardian angel, this way. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. Here! What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that's right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who are stealing acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Look at those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me.
Yeah, you'll be needing this. You're mine now, you dumb bastard! It's not here. That lion sack of shit! Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. You got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since 
Mamma died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling that treasure's around there somewhere. Keep to the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming after us! Get us out of here! I'm gonna look for the map back here! You try to shake those damn rednecks! This will all be over soon. Ah! Oh, look ah! here! I found me a few bullets! If I had a face like yours... So, I guess this is goodbye. Hey, this fella's a little right. Said he's got something on him. Who's got shit for Seth? Well, there's some bullets on this. Better than a poke in the eye. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You're stiff as four. Relax. I just want a little look. -see. You got a pair of the map! Just run him off! Where's my map? Come on. Go left here, partner! Thanks, John. Thanks, partner. Be seeing you very soon. Make a left! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yes! Here it is! I got the map, mister! I got it! I got it! Looks like the treasure's in Tumbleweed! That's where I was headed! Keep going! We're almost there! Looks like the treasure's in Tumbleweed! That's where I was headed! It's fate! Keep going! We're almost there! I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister.
Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. around the back. You gotta go now! It's our last chance! Here we go. Come on, Seth. Jesus, what? I did 
all the work! Me! What the hell? Are you gonna shoot somebody? Damn, you jump me! I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> the stupid liars. The stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. And dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. <laughs> 